Hey YouTube, it's Mandak coming at you guys with another video. So I believe that this uh, video will be comic haul number 34. So anyway guys, um, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are all staying safe out there again. Um, have a little bit of a haul here today. I have one IST order um, and some other Lego sets that I picked up. Um, so I figured I'd just roll them all together here. Um, I have two more IST orders that I've placed. Uh, I will be placing a third one on Tuesday when the Amazing Spider-Man by JMS Omnibus Volume 2 comes out. I'm going to be picking that up. Um, but as of right now, I think my first and second order haven't like shipped yet. So I don't know what that's going to mean. Uh, I may end up getting refunded the money because it may not end up being shipping or I'll just have to monitor it or whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, this is pretty much the only way I can really get stuff nowadays. So I've just been ordering stuff on IST. Um, I've been uh, use, taking advantage of the extra 2%, uh, just ordering on a, usually a weekly basis. Um, so I've been able to keep that two, extra 2% 2 up for me, which is nice. Uh, but a small haul today that I'll go through. Uh, what else is going on? Nothing really much else. Um... Yeah, we'll get into it. I'm just trying to drag this out. Oh, uh, one uh, one thing I do want to talk about is episode two of the Students of Shield Chronicles is out. So definitely go check that out. Um, it just is a recap series of my time with the club, forming the club, and just some random memories off the top of my head. So uh, episode three should hopefully be out be out by next Friday, or I guess this Friday. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm really enjoying just kind of talking about that and just kind of just putting some documentation for it. It's really cool just to have it and, you know, eventually in the next few years, maybe just go back and revisit listening to all of it. So we'll see. Anyways, I'll get into the haul here and we'll get going. So first uh, book I have here is Sex Criminals Volume 5 by Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. So uh, this one is titled Five Finger Discount. So we'll see what that's all about. Um, this collects issues 21 through 25 of the series. So I think at this point I only have one more trade to get, or this might be the full. This might be the end of it. I don't know. I think there's one, I think there's only one trade left. So um, should be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, Chip Zdarsky art. Really clean. Really excited to read that. Um, yeah, I've only heard good, good things about this story, so we'll see how it goes. You can kind of see here. Move on. And this is obviously an image trade, so really nice spine, really nice book quality. I do like the matte cover here with like a little uh, glossy logo for sex criminals. So really excited to read this, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, this might be a series I'll jump into currently right now. I guess this is something I'm going to try incorporating more into these haul videos as I do them is just announcing what I'm reading. Uh, so currently right now, I'm going through Jason Aaron's uh, Star Wars run. I just finished up Kieran Gillen's Darth Vader run. So I'm reading uh, Jason Aaron's Star Wars. I've read like the first, I think, 12 issues or so, like four or five years ago. But I'm actually tr trying to catch up and just read the whole thing. Um, right now so we'll see how that goes so not related to sex criminals but I figured I'd just say that as I move on all right next book I have here is a book that I bought on a damage sale on IST and you know usually with IST I'm not too scared about damage sales um, it's usually nothing too serious it's maybe just a little bump or ding on one of the edges but um, I've had pretty good luck with it uh, knock on wood <laughs> Um, never really had any issues with it, so we'll see. But um, yeah, I definitely suggest anyone who's looking to get a few extra bucks shaved off of the already discounted prices on IST, definitely check out their damages sales. It it probably is worth it. You know, for the extra few bucks off, you get you probably get a used like new book. You know, so it's worth checking out. Anyway, that book I got here was Uncanny X Force by Rick Remender, Volume One. So I found volume two uh, this past summer while I was out shopping with my friends, um, Doran Phillipsburg Comic Con. So go check that haul out. Uh, that should have volume two of this collection of this series in here. 
And this is just trying to complete that Rick Remender run that I'm trying to get to uh, get to eventually. I have the Uncanny Avengers by Rick Remender Omnibus. Found that about two, three years ago on sale at a store for 35 bucks, so I jumped on that. Um, but now I have his Un Uncanny X-Force run collected, so uh, I have to see which one comes first. I think this comes first, and then the Uncanny Avengers uh, spins out of this. I could have that backwards, but... Um, Really excited to have this. So this collects um, Uncanny X-Force, the 2010 series, numbers 1 through 19 and 5.1, and material from Wolverine, Wolverine, The Road to Hell, number 1. Um, and I'm assuming that that little one-shot material stuff is also collected in the Wolverine Goes to Hell omnibus. Could be wrong, but just judging by the title of the one-shot or the material, sounds like it is, so... Uh, but you can see here on the cover, really nice, I'm trying to avoid the glare there. You got Wolverine in that um, interesting costume. Looks like you got Archangel, Psylocke. Um, not too well versed in the X-Men yet, but uh, definitely getting better with it with the uh, time. Oh, there you go. On the back there, you can see you had Deadpool, Wolverine, Phantom X, Psylocke, and Archangel. So I had some of them right. So we'll just open up here to page kind of shows some art so really excited to read this um you know uh obviously i i want to try to at least i know this isn't probably even directly or related to the uh, original x4 stuff but i do have an epic collection for that so i do want to read that at some point um probably not going to read it in order i mean you know it probably doesn't they're probably two totally different entities um but uh yeah let's check that out um, the, the main thing I'm waiting for in terms of X-Men is the Volume 4 Omnibus of Uncanny X-Men to come out. That will definitely, hopefully, jumpstart my uh, involvement back into um, X-Men because I have a lot of backlog stuff that I've just been collecting and I've not, not actually sat down and read yet. So, really excited to hopefully get to some of those iconic events. You know, Mutant Massacre, Fall of the Mutants, um, you know, the start of Claremont and Jim Lee's stuff which I believe is getting reprinted in Omnibus. So definitely will be picking that up day one purchase from me. Absolutely for that. So really excited. A lot of good stuff coming out of the pipeline. Hopefully with everything going on in the news and in the world today, hopefully that stuff doesn't throw a wrench into that. But uh, judging by how the way things are going, I would imagine it does. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, let me just shift my feet here. Last book I got here from my uh, little haul here. Obviously, I just, I just bought enough to get me to the 50 bucks. Um, I picked up an epic that I was had on my uh, wish list for a while. I'm getting to the point now where <laughs> um, there really aren't enough aren't any epics that are really like piquing my interest. You know, like usually when I go for epics, I grab the ones that like I'm like, yes, I definitely want to read that. I'm definitely gonna sit down and read that, or it's continuing a run of a character that I, I like and I want to read. So right now it's kind of just picking and choosing stuff that kind of fills in the gaps. This book though, it doesn't fill that uh, distinction. Uh, what it, I have here is Excalibur, Curiouser, and Curiouser by Alan Davis, uh, Scott Lobdell, um, a bunch of other creators that I am not familiar with, so I apologize, but you can see him them on the front here. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is this epic, I think, marks the beginning of Alan da Davis's run on uh, Excalibur, and I'm not too familiar with it. But um, I think he was writing and illustrating it. I'm not sure for how long he was doing that for. But uh, there's definitely, you know, I think they published these visionary volumes um, years ago for Alan Davis's Excalibur run. So people who have collected those are probably kicking themselves at this point, you know, because uh, they probably could have waited and got the whole run for a lot cheaper in this format. But, you know, if you have it at this point, whatever. I mean, you know, it just I guess to each their own. It's still paperback, so. But anyway, this collects Excalibur 42 to 58, Excalibur XX or double X crossing, and material from Marvel Comics Presents number 110. So on the back here, you can kind of see the team. Uh, still pretty similar and pretty close to what we had, you know, originally. I think still the team is still kind of intact here. You got um, Captain Britain, Megan, Rachel Gray, Kitty Pride, and Nightcrawler. Um, this is volume four, so um, 
I don't believe any of the Excalibur epics are out of print. So if you're looking to uh, hopefully pick up some um, Excalibur stuff, it's basically the British uh, sect or the British um, team of, of, of um, Avengers of X-Men um, started by Chris Claremont and Alan Davis and then handed off to Scott Lobdell and then handed back to Alan Davis with this run, obviously. But, um, yeah. Oh, shit. I'll show some paper. That's a pretty cool... I think I was looking through this earlier today and I saw this this kind of little splash page um, action going on here. So, uh, this is uh, representing 91 and 92 for um, the years 1991 92 for Excalibur. So, really excited to read this. But, yeah. I mean, if you guys go out there today... You can get epics. This is the fourth straight epic for Excalibur. Um, so you can get the first 58 issues all collected in these nice paperbacks. Um, I have the first three right here. So definitely excited to read it. I read the first one about three years ago. Really enjoyed it. I uh, really liked the team, the dynamic. Uh, it was nice to have some familiar faces like Kitty Pride and Nightcrawler on the team. But it was also really cool to kind of see backstory on Megan, Rachel Gray, and um, Captain Britain. So really good meshing of characters there and obviously the beginning of it with Chris Claremont um you know his writing's just great so um he makes he makes the team very um enjoyable and down to earth so yeah really excited to pick that up uh next week or whenever I get that order I have some other stuff that's filling in gaps for X-Men so really excited to read those things um hopefully soon all right so, Lego set time. Um, I picked up a few sets. I'm still waiting on one, actually. I just ordered another one today. I won't say what it is here, because it's kind of it'll, it'll kind of give away my future haul videos, I guess. But, um, yeah, still waiting on one set. Ordered another one today. Um, for anyone out there, you know, who are getting their stimulus checks, like I am, um, <laughs> it's a little bit more reason to kind of go out and spend some money. Um, you know, I'm still working. You know, I'm still going to work, so... It's not really something for me to kind of like pay the bills per se, but it's nice to have that just to kind of invest it, save it. Um, definitely going to be saving some of that money and using some of it to pay off my student loans still. So anyway, getting sidetracked. I still found some time to get some, use some of that money for some Lego sets that I've been wanting to pick up. And uh, I waited and waited for that 20% off sale that every Lego set seems to go through at some point, except for those big, you know, creator sets or big, you know, anything over a hundred bucks kind of doesn't go through that sale, but anything below that, you know, in the, in the $50 range and below kind of goes to that 20% off sale at some point. So I waited for that and I picked up a few sets that I've been, you know, thought were kind of overpriced at the time. So, uh, I'll shut up and I'll show them. <laughs> so the first one here, it's going to be nice. It's going to complement my, uh, Lego Obi-Wan's hut set really nicely. Um, which I picked up a few, um, weeks ago. I don't know if I showed it here on the podcast. I think I actually built it before I had a chance to show it on here. So apologize for that. But I did buy that set. This one I bought is a Lego um, Lego Star Wars 75271. Luke, Luke Skywalker's Landspeeder. Um, so for any of the you Lego fans out there, you will know you will know what I what I refer to when I say that this is uh Definitely not a surprise that Lego released another Lego land Lego uh, land speeder. Um, it's one of the most, um, I guess, one of the most re-released sets ever. I think there's I think there's been at least four or five different versions of it um, over the twenty years that Lego has been making Star Wars sets. Um, so I have the two thousand nine version actually up there with the hut right now, but I'm probably gonna swap it out for this one just because it's newer. Um, this set came out in retail for 30 bucks originally, which I thought was pretty pretty expensive for what you get here. Now granted, you do get a Jawa, which I never have a Jawa. I never had a Jawa before, so really cool to own that set. Um, or own that minifigure, I guess. But you also get the exclusive Luke minifigure with the little, I guess, coat or cape or whatever. So that's kind of cool. But um, yeah, it dropped. It went on sale on Amazon for 24 bucks, which... I still believe it's on sale for, so anyone that out there that wants to go grab that, definitely suggest you grab it now. It's an extra six bucks off, which it's not too much, but it's something. I mean, it makes it a little bit more uh, justifiable, I guess, for the cost. 
236 pieces for $24 is a lot better price piece price per piece ratio um uh, comes with c3po and all that stuff so on the back here you can kind of see how it looks um the gun design is pretty good i mean pretty simple but pretty good there so you can kind of see what you got so really excited to have this um yeah so we'll build that at some point um i gotta get back to doing some reviews um I think I got discouraged because I tried doing those those time lapses and some of them just gave out sometimes, which pissed me off. So I kind of got away from the whole review thing, but I want to do that again. I like talking about Legos and discussing them on this on this channel here. So, all right, um, next set I have here is a Lego Avenger set, which is actually based off of the upcoming Avengers video game for the Xbox, PlayStation, all that stuff. Um, so, I guess with Lego this year, you know, obviously there's no Avengers movie coming out this year. So, they did release a Black Widow set, which eventually I will be picking up. I'm going to wait for that 20% off sale for that as well. But, um, it's also 30 bucks. But, they released three sets for Avengers this year. At least for the, the Winter Wave. Um, you got the set I'm holding in my hands. There's a motorcycle set, which I'm actually getting next week, which I'll show you guys. And then the mech, the Iron Man mech, um set which was like 10 bucks which i actually have over here and they all come with new updated uh, minifigures that are supposed to i guess represent what the um characters will look like in the upcoming video game so uh, like i said i got the mech which has the iron man armor from that which is really cool a uh, different iron man helmet design which is interesting but this one i picked up was originally 40 bucks and i got it for 32 dollars again 20 percent off but this is the Lego Avengers um, Avengers Truck Takedown. Uh, and this has Captain America, Hawkeye, um, and two AIM agents, which uh, kind of is what gives it away that this is for the upcoming game because the design for the AIM agents looks very similar to like the demos and trailers and stuff like that that we've seen. Um, but yeah, so, you know, honestly... <laughs> I got this mostly for the minifigures. Um, it's really cool to see a new cap and a new Hawkeye, which is interesting. Hawkeye kind of has like that that little eye dress that he wear ha had in like the original comics um, going on, and like a little bit of shades of purple in his costume sprinkled in, which is nice to see. The AIM agents are meh, you know, whatever. Um, but basically, the big draw to this set is the truck, the Avengers truck, which looks decent. Uh, it's not the best design I've seen, but. You know, it's one of those things where maybe I just have to build it and see how it looks. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, like, Lego vehicles. I don't really display a lot of them. Um, I'm more a fan of, like, ships and stuff. I think those look better, like the Star Wars ships. There are some um, Marvel ships that I have up there with me as well, but not a big fan. Not really too keen on displaying some Lego vehicles. I usually just store them in, like, a plastic bin so they don't get dusty or whatever, but... Yeah, so really excited to see this Captain America figure and Hawkeye and the AIM agent. You can kind of see here on the back that the, the truck can kind of open up and you can have someone sit on the top with like a, a rotating turret to shoot out some little stud shooter type of things. Um, and the AIM agent has like a little motorcycle tripod or whatever you call that. So we'll see. You can kind of see there's a shot of that on the side. But... Uh, Excuse me. That's pretty much what I got. Um, like I said, got this for 20% uh, off. Good deal, I would say. You know, um, makes it a little bit more affordable and more justifiable, I guess, for the cost. But yeah, guys, that's my haul. Um, pretty short haul, but still was able to take up 19 minutes to talk about it. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so next week, guys, be on the lookout for some other stuff. Hopefully it gets shipped to me. Um, if that's not the case then i will do some other stuff in the meantime so anyway guys stay safe out there wash your hands don't touch your face and i will see you on the flip side peace